Dallas Fort Worth area. Um, and so I'm acquainted with cancer. And I am, a lot of my our patients are have cancer because of smoking. But uh, I assure you that, and you know quite well, that uh, what people are being exposed to in this area is far worse than nicotine and tar. Um, some people want to say, well, why are religious people, or if a few religious people do show up and want to say, well, why are you here? You're intruding where you're not needed or you don't belong. And I guess what I'm raising is not that I expect you to be religious or ask you to be religious, uh, perhaps you are. But what I am bringing up is what religion should be doing is raising up the moral ethical issues. We're not the only ones. It would be nice to see some philosophy professors here uh, and others to raise the ethical moral issues. And economics should not be divorced from ethics or moral morality. Because if it is, it's cancerous. And I think we're seeing the results of that in this state, in our nation, and doubtless in the world. Religion is, or religions are concerned about a couple of things that are very relevant to what's, what we are here tonight for. One is truth. We say God is truth, or the Buddha nature is truth, or ultimate reality is what is true. Um, and given the, the information that has come out about what's actually happening, of people being exposed to benzene, of being lied to about it, people's water sources being degraded, people's lives will doubtless be shortened because they have been overexposed to carcinogens. They will die sooner or later because of this. Uh, that is a moral issue. Um, what our friends from the African American community have shown is also the other aspect of religions do try. Hopefully, God willing, that we do try to address this justice and nonviolence. And what the Interfaith Environmental Alliance is committed to is environmental justice. Again and again, African American, Latino communities, lower income communities have been exposed disproportionately to toxic waste dump sites, industries that are exposing their children, their families to carcinogens thus shortening their lives, in other words, killing them. Not only them individually, but their communities. Uh, in my religious tradition, or I have two, I'm an Episcopalian, but I also practice Zen Buddhism, uh, Zen Buddhist meditation. Um, both of those traditions would say that is a gross immorality, a violation of the law of law. TCEQ, the Texas Railroad Commission, and the oil and gas industry, um, to be quite blunt, have declared war on us, the citizens of Texas, for decades. Decades. That sounds um, maybe hyperbole, but I'm not exactly. When people's lives are sacrificed for profit, when communities are decimated for profit, of oil companies and those who do their bidding, i.e. TCEQ, the Texas Railroad Commission, and others. That is a gross immorality. When we read about how the Canaanites sacrificed their children to a deity called Moloch, building it with fire and then putting their children on it and hearing the screams of their children and drowning it out with music, are we any different by sacrificing our children for corporate a certain obscure Jewish prophet has made a comment, you will know a tree by its fruit. And the fruit that we've been getting here in this state is poisonous. I also in my past worked as a caseworker in an outpatient psychiatric clinic and I've done psychiatric research as a research study over here. And so it's not a metaphor for me to say that TCEQ, the Texas Railroad Commission, and other political entities of this state, including, I would say, our governor, are sociopaths. They are sociopaths because they do things without any sense of moral guilt or remorse, doing things that know are destructive, lie and dissemble. You are in a rogue state if you have not become aware of it. Our 
are so-called political organizations or bodies of government have betrayed us. They have declared war on us. People are dying. Homelands are ruined. Livestock are dying. So one thing we do urge you, EPA, is yes, do the research that you need to do to look at all the issues that are happening here and throughout the state, and indeed and throughout the United States, because just recently I watched Gaslight, and I felt like a knife went through my heart. Our nation is being, is under war. We're, the oil industry, the gas industry have declared war on us for the sake of profit. And so I urge y'all to do criminal investigations leading to indictments of TCEQ, the Texas Railroad Commission, in our government. Again, they have lied to us, they have betrayed us. All efforts by the means of good citizens to address this issue have been tossed aside, we've been spat upon, we've been ignored. Please, please investigate these criminal behaviors. The last thing I'm trying to write about, because I know you're tired and God, I'm just tired too. Not so much the tiredness that we just have more speakers. Oh, you yeah, have more speakers? Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, it's concern of love of God and neighbor. How can we say we love God and our neighbor that we allow these monstrosities, these outrages to continue? And going back to the point where people made about, oh, this is about the economy. This is about jobs. What good is it? If, quote, jobs are provided at the expense of people's health, their well-being, their lives, their livelihood. And who gets the profit anyway? I think uh, the gentlemen from those neighborhoods who have been oppressed for the longest know very well who gets the profit. It's not the communities. The oil and gas industries are malignancies. They're tumors that suck up our resources and leave us with the toxins. Jesus of Nazareth said, one can answer God in money. Now, you can be an atheist, but I think you can understand that God means justice, truth, and compassion. One cannot serve justice, truth, and compassion, and serve money at the same time. Money must bow. Prophets must bow to God's justice, to compassion, and truth. And in closing, um, Moses told the children of Israel before they went into the promised land or when he presented to them the law of God. I present to you two things. I present to you life or death. Choose life. I beg of you in the name of God or whatever you hold dear and holy, please choose life for us. Thank you. I have statements here for our comments of life. as you guys were speaking that um, I, 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 uh, that I hadn't re reiterated probably for the later speakers. We have a sound system that's set up that after four and a half minutes there's a little ding that goes off um, to warn you that there's about 30 seconds or so left and we're obviously going to let people go a little bit beyond that. But, um, Gene Freeman, let's see, let me try these again. Gene Freeman or Bruce Cunningham. I think we may hang up with those guys and go with uh, George Schellmeyer. Close enough. Uh, okay. All right, thank you, sir. And John Rath.
know you got a lot of emails and you did a lot of groundwork in this whole process, and it's, it's uh, really appreciated. For 25 years, uh, I was hopefully part of the solution. Uh, I want you to know I've been tuned into air quality uh, as I would ride my bike from Tarrant County uh, through Denton County to go to work in Collin County. I was lucky enough to be able to do that. Most of the time I beat the traffic and got my coworkers mad. But through that time I was particularly uh, attuned into air quality. And uh, that was some, some exercise physiology background uh, I bring here tonight. The, the things I'd like to ask you for uh, or tell you about is number one, trust. Because if we are going to move away from uh, polluting sources and use natural gas as a transition fuel, uh, we've got to have an entity that we can trust. You, you know for sure that it is not the TCEQ that we trust, but we will put our trust in you. So please take, carry that back. When you look at your regulations, please make them comprehensive and look at the entire lifestyle of, uh, of the entire gas and oil industry, from before the drill bit hits the ground to well after the gas is taken out and the oil is taken out. <laughs> we need, along with that, baseline testing. Baseline testing that's done not by the industry, or at least not over, overseen by the industry, uh, but that is paid for and regulated by you guys that we trust. Please make it cumulative and consider our region. There are other regions. I happen to be from Western New York as a kid, and I know that there's a lot of concern up there in the Marcella Shale in Louisiana. So look at us, uh, look certainly as, as a nation, but also recognize there might be some differences in, in the regional aspects, uh, uh, like the Barnett Shale. Uh, wherever you can, find and eliminate loopholes. <coughs> Startups, shutdowns, upsets, non-upsets, malfunctions, or whatever. Don't let those go unpunched or unregulated, please. Too many emissions get out uh, without any consequences. I ask that as you change uh, or modify your regulations to make them tougher, that you look at worst case scenarios and review them periodically for case scenarios. Technology changes, in many cases it gets better, and so our regulations need to change and keep pace with, the, with that technology. Please mandate that the best available technology is used on certainly any new permit, but please modify your regulations so that existing operations at whatever opportunity you can write into the rules, have to update their technology so that it is the best around as well. Grandfathering, in my opinion, should be eliminated. Our 25,000 members believe in responsibility. And that responsibility needs to be on the people that are benefiting. Oil and gas industry should have to be fully bonded. Taxpayers, <laughs> citizens, and the government should not have to pay for their mistakes. And just like everybody else, they need to be fully bonded. I'd ask that you do whatever you can to make sure that citizens are fully informed well before any oil or gas operations take place. We need to be involved. As you can tell, we want to be involved. We want to support what, what you do. And the only way we can do that is if we know what we're up against. Uh, and particularly, 